All right, so during the show, no surprise, we <laughs> tend to talk a lot about food, especially when we share our recipe of the day. We love it, yeah. and food is the theme for our first guest interview today because tomorrow marks the return of an Orlando favorite, Visit Orlando's Magical Dining Month. Yes, we mm -hmm. all love it. We are so excited to have Chef Robert here with us today, executive chef at the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort. Thank you so much for joining us, and I know you've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up with Magical Dining Month. Yeah, it's great. We love to participate in it. It uh, gives it back to local tourism. Mm -hmm. um, it draws new people into the resort to see mm -hmm. what we do, and it supports charities, which is very important to me in the local community. So what's some of your favorite parts of Magical Dining Month? I mean, it really is something we all look forward to year-round. Basically, it, it allows us to draw new people in, besides mm -hmm. the other two things that I, that I just brought yeah. up. But for me, it's bringing new guests into our, our resort, into our restaurants. Because we really want to make to experience it, to understand what we do and what our culture is with food and beverage. The great thing too is like it's a foodie's dream come true because <laughs> you get like mm -hmm. these, you know, three course, sometimes even more meals for right. like you know what thirty three dollars. Thirty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get to pick great. a couple of different appetizers. You get to pick from a few different entrees, a couple of desserts, which is awesome. It's nice because sometimes maybe you try things that you wouldn't normally try, and it really does expand right. kind of your culinary horizons. It does. I think it's important that you. Have food that's friendly, but also mm -hmm. not too not too friendly or not too adventurous, because then you don't want people to not order it. Yeah. So if you bring the food <laughs> in, you want to make sure that if you're ordering the food and cooking it, that people are actually buying it, essentially. Yeah, and there's a big list of all the different restaurants across Orlando that are participating in this this month event. There is a list that you can go, uh, I believe, on Visit Orlando. You can see all the different restaurants that are participating mm -hmm. at the different hotels and freestanding restaurants in the area yeah. to see what they're serving and see where they are. Yeah. What restaurants? Restaurants at your hotel will we participate. Uh, Todd English's Blue Zoo mm -hmm. participates, and then Il Molino, New York, the Trattoria, it's an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Those are the two restaurants that we have participating this year. Wonderful. And you, you do want to plan ahead with this too. It's good to plan ahead and sort of look to make reservations if you can. I suggest or... making a reservation uh, sp specifically on the weekends because where we are location-wise, it's important because yes. we have a lot of guests. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure if you're coming in, you make a reservation ahead of time. And, and sometimes, you know, like Valentine's Day, you have these big events that you have this structured menu and you're like, well, what are they going to give me? But when we've gone, my husband and I, it's these amazing dishes that you can get for, for 35 right. bucks. So it's great to maybe do maybe like a date night in the middle of the week. It's too. perfect for a date night. My wife and I like to go to different restaurants for date night. So it allows us to get out, yeah. not just go to my hotel or the <laughs> hotels that I'm at, uh, yeah. to go to other restaurants and try things that we might not have had and to see what they're offering as well. So what on the menu are you most excited about can we look forward to? Uh, I think from the two different restaurants, you, completely different philosophies in terms, of, in terms of cuisine. One is Italian, one is seafood driven. Mm -hmm. uh, at Blue Zoo, it's the Simply Fish. Basically what okay. it is, is it's a local sustainably caught piece of fish. It's served over polenta and it's served with your choice of sauce. It comes with haricot verts and a little mm -hmm. mosh salad. And it's great. For $35, you get an appetizer, a big piece of fish, seven ounce piece nice. of fish and a dessert. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And then in El Molino, we have Italian driven food. But for me, my favorite dish in there is the rigatoni con fungi. And I brought mm. that today. Basically, mm -hmm. okay. it's rigatoni, Italian vinegar peppers, Mm -hmm. and uh, truffle oil and wild mushrooms. And it's awesome. It's very easy to make, but it's it's enjoyable on the palate, and, okay. it, and it, it's great to eat. Okay, and I understand you did bring some stuff I for did, us so we yes. can wander over. You know, you kind of had me at truffle oil. I feel like you put truffle oil on anything. I and can then smell it's the truffle exciting. oil already. Mm -hmm. Okay, All right. so these are the dishes it's from, from uh, Magical Dining. This is okay. the Simply Fish. This is actually Corvina that's caught off the coast of uh, South America. Again, for me, sustainability is important. I don't yeah. want to get mm. fish that's caught in nets. So of we course. try to draw and get fish that we know is brought to us properly. Okay. Again, it's very simple. I have a cauliflower puree down, the creamy polenta, uh, the seared fish, some roasted cauliflower, and then I brought a crab Dijon. What it is is it's basically white wine and heavy cream that have been reduced down. Mm. We had Dijon mustard and Alaskan oh. king crab. Oh. Cauliflower is really having a moment. Cauliflower is awesome. It's, yeah. it's, it's high in protein. <laughs> it's, it is. So, you know, so you're going to eat that separately or are you going to? Basically, we serve the sauce okay. on the side. We allow oh, the guests okay. to do it themselves okay. because some people like a lot of sauce. Some mm -hmm. people don't want any. So I don't want to choose for them. I want okay. them to be able to make the decision on their own. That's pretty and meaty then, plate too. It's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. And then this is the rigatoni con fungi. Again, mm. the rigatoni, so the pretty. vinegar That's peppers, showing. the wild mushrooms, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. and then the truffle oil. For me, truffle oil is one of those things that yes. I love, but it's got to be a good one that's not... Uh, Overly bitter. If I want to find Yum. a good truffle oil to buy, where do you recommend we start? <laughs> Please tell me. Us. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> no, honestly, yes. there's there's a there's a number of different places you can go to get it. Okay. Uh, 
but for, again, you want to get one that's not overly bitter. So okay. truffle, I don't want to go too far into it, but truffle oil a lot of times is they add flavoring agents to it to mm. give it that flavor. You mm. want to find something that's actually made with the shavings of white truffle. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do we have over here? here? So we have, a, we have an event in October, uh, October 26th and 27th. It's our food and wine classic. It's our ninth year Ooh. and it's a big party we have. And it's in between the two, hotel, ho two hotels and it goes mm. all the way down mm. our lake terrace, which mm -hmm. divides the two hotels. Yeah. These are three dishes that we'll be serving there. Uh, the one you're holding up right now, yes, that's from one. Sib Smoke Shop. I'm Chef Sibirowski, so we do our, we make our own bacon, and I'm oh, serving it with, oh yeah. Oh my wow. gosh. And that's Ooh, just with my, and bacon. oh this yeah, that one's awesome. Know. And then that one amazing. has black truffle puree and okay. cherry fluid gel. This is the Agnolotti, it's a braised beef Agnolotti that you would get at El Molino. Oh, and this then is the an fish. appetizer, I'm guessing. So it, or there's taste. there's 38 <laughs> different food booths, so everything is small. Yeah, okay. Little, you pick. So okay. you pick. You pay one price, and you get you can eat and drink as much as you want. Oh, okay. yeah. that sounds like a great party. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It really is. And then this year, every year we try to add something new. I'm doing a Hawaiian luau this year. I lived in Hawaii for six years, so oh, nice. we try to add something to to the party every year. That's awesome. That sounds fabulous. We've got a lot going on. We do. So if somebody wants to check it out, swanandolphinfoodandwineclassic.com, you can get all the information. Perfect. Magical dining. Magical right. dining. Starts tomorrow. Right. It's great. I'm starving. Make your reservations now. Yes.